Hey everyone, welcome back to another Undead World Hero Survival episode. So today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the workshop, specifically with your special equipment and signature equipment. But before that, if you wanted updated videos for this channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay guys, so for those of you who are wondering where do you put your special equipment and unique equipment they are going to be here so as you can see lita i already um unlocked her at uh, legendary and automatically she gets her uh signature equipment for this one okay and the, this one the other side is going to be your special equipment where you can equip um one special equipment with multiple heroes so i'll show you guys that one later so these are additional stats that you can, you know, can get, give your heroes additional abilities as well. And let's take a look at um, the workshop, so where it's going to be found. So as you can see here, um, your special equipment is actually, you know, to be unlocked. Um, every I, I'm not familiar with the stages in terms of your campaign, but the last one is going to be your uh, um, Radi Rel uh, Relay. Which is going to be unlocked at uh, stage 10 dash, dash 20. So again, once you've unlocked these special equipment, they may be leveled up to grade. Uh, so th there are a couple of grades. So for grade 10, you can actually unlock a new ability, as you can see here. Then you can also unlock another slot where you can equip this to another hero as well. So basically you have Tanya here um, using this equipment. You could add another one and that similar hero will get the stats as well. And the a, a new skill for this one, the new stat here. Okay, so you can unlock this at 20 grade and I think the last one is at 30 grade. So... For one um, special equipment, you can actually have uh, four heroes share it. So that is how good it is. Then you level it up by completing these quests here. So the one that I've been, you know, you, uh, I'm, I'm waiting to level up is going to be your Pulse Nova emitter. And um, I'm working my way all up here. The only reason why it was first, it, I, I'm prioritizing at first. In terms of going to um, grade 10 because this was the first one and I, re I already upgraded it so it's worth more if you proceed to grade 10 then once this one is at grade 10 you again choose another one to upgrade next to grade 10 then so on and so forth I can actually go um, next is going to be adrenaline injector I could do that but I could go to another it's more efficient that way where you can equip um, this particular one or all of your um, what they call this all, all of your special equipment to multiple heroes so again um, as you can see here this what this stat is actually uh, visible only at grade 10 but the lower version of this you're gonna be seeing in let's look at Tanya so for Tanya okay so here it is so as you can see, this is at grade 10. You cannot see there the current skill info for your current level, so which is this one. So it's in yellow, it's active already. Um, then at grade 10, uh, once I level it up, it will be it will light up this one. Then this will be active as well. Um, the next one um like to also, you know, uh, share with you guys is going to be Tyler. Tyler has um, the adrenaline injector. And um, more or less, you get my drift. So um, the question actually is asked of me is who are the heroes that um, are applicable to each uh, special equipment? That's the question. Um, my take on that is going to be take a look at the stat bonuses up here. Is it going to help that hero bolster what he, uh, what he or she he or she is already good at or is it going to augment a weakness of that specific hero and also consider that the stat is going to help that hero so again it would really depend on how you want to design your heroes guys um 
for me, um, I think this one is going to be more uh, applicable to Tanya. But again, you could actually design here um, most heroes that you want to benefit from the stat and from the skill as well. So Tanya has great evasion. I want to increase that. So I put her here and she has good attack as well. And this one is going to benefit her as well. So the next would be for Adrenaline Injector. Um, I think uh, Tyler would benefit from this. He is a melee, increasing his defense and crit rate as well because he you know, deals a lot of damage in terms of attack. And also for this passive, I think this is actually good for him as well. So plus 10 attack speed for 5 seconds. The next would be your Recovery Serum Mask. So defense, um, not so much applicable to rock, but the accuracy I want. Um, and also the skill, which is gain SP 10% 10, 10 faster for 3 seconds upon using ultimate skill. Which, because her ultimate skill is actually good, that I want it to cycle as fast as possible. Um, next would be um, shield generator, which, is, which gives HP and crit resistance which will benefit your tank in this case it's going to be jones and the ultimate is going to be creates a shield which again makes him more tanky and the last would be um ratty relay which i mentioned earlier plus hp attack power as well which is actually good for um abigail which because she's a berserker so it's perfect for her and using ultimate skill grants 10% lifesteal effect for 10 seconds, which is again very good for her. So it really would play um, well, one in the availability of your units, what you have, what heroes you are, have available, and what do you want to augment in those heroes. I'm, I'm, these are just recommendations, guys. I'm not saying that they should be put there. From my perspective, they are the ones good there, and there are all um, there are other heroes that are going to be good because you're you're going to be unlocking a couple of slots for this specific equipment. Okay, next we're going to the signature equipment again. Your signature equipment is going to be unlocked once a certain hero um, goes up to legendary tier. So I have here already um, Astra. So at grade ten. This is his additional um, uh, modifications and the stat additional um, as you equip the, the, the what they call this the equipment that the unique equipment is going to be this one. So additional stats addition, um, and also for this is for Lita. You have HP attack power SP gain and um, again if you want to view the current effect of that unique weapon you're gonna go have to go here because again you can see here the yellow yellow dot lighted up so instead of you know gain by uh basic attack reduces the target's accuracy by five percent the next one is attacker gains four percent life steal so and also as for astra this is also yeah so this one is the first one then you'll be adding this one as well. So again, unlocking um, your 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 unique weapon or your signature weapon is going to also enhance further. And also, as you can see here, they're going to change in terms of their um, aesthetic. So as you can see here, Lita has her horns out already. <laughs> and <laughs> don't want to make a joke, but she looks really really badass so anyway those are my takes on um your weapons uh for your workshop the workshop will be the i think will be the last to be unlocked as you play the game in terms of um uh, your hideout and again this one um as much as possible um try to unlock for your signature weapon try to unlock your core team first um, in terms of signature weapon because you, you'll be using them more frequently and as you can see here for the special equipment again they can be unlocked in stage 10 dash 2 up to here so that's the last one the previous ones can be unlocked in previous stages in the campaign okay guys so that is it so again 
this really helps um, especially if you are aiming to climb up more and also if you want to conquer pvp this gives you additional skills and gives you additional stats okay so for those who've stuck this far so thank you very much for um you know um staying with me and also if uh hope you consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot and also don't forget if you subscribe click that bell icon so you don't miss videos from my channel also guys um don't forget also to click that like button just in case you find this video informative to you thank you guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here